Hi everyone, and welcome to another Making Music with me, Enrico, the Pops Conductor of your Nashville Symphony. Now, I don't know about you, but I love the springtime. There are so many different sounds from nature that you can go out and listen to. And if you're like me, living here in Nashville, one of the sounds you've heard a lot of lately is the rain. The rain makes such a pretty and calming sound, which got me thinking, for this week's project, why don't we make rain sticks, which are a member of the percussion family. Now, to make your rain stick, you're gonna need a few supplies. So let's see what those are. For your supplies, you'll need an empty wrapping paper tube, and some wrapping paper or other things to decorate the outside of your rain stick. You'll need two balloons, tape, scissors, and some filling. In this case, I'll use black beans. Now that you've got your supplies, let's assemble our rain sticks. Start with your wrapping paper tube. If it's like this one, using some scotch tape, seal off the edges so that none of your beans escape out the side of the tube. Next, take your two balloons. You're gonna want to take a pair of scissors and cut off the ends of your balloons like this. Once you've cut off the ends of the balloons, take one of your balloons and carefully stretch it over the end of your cardboard tube. Take your bag of filling and very carefully pour it in to the other open end of your cardboard tube. You're gonna to wanna to use about half a bag of filling at least. Once you've carefully added your filling into the wrapping paper tube, take your second balloon and stretch it over the top, securing your filling inside. Now it's time to decorate your rain stick. If you're using wrapping paper like me, start by securing one end of the paper to your tube. Then, using a pair of scissors and some help from an adult, cut along the line that will allow you to completely wrap your wrapping paper tube in the wrapping paper. Then, take your tape again and secure the wrapping paper around the rest of the wrapping paper tube. There you go, we have our own rain sticks. Now, here's a little pro tip on how to play your rain stick to get the best sound. You don't want to tilt your rain stick too fast or it'll sound like this. Kerplunk. Instead, tilt your rain stick very slowly and gradually. Now that sounds like rain. And just remember to keep having fun making music.